to make it to the finish line without cracking a single one. We've got some comfort coming out for game number one. That is such a sick skybox as well. The first blood, and that's straight on to Meteor. But JDG had done all the hard work. The wave was pushing back towards them. They, and then Ruler walk, walks up to try and trim that wave, get some of that. It's Ruler half HP. Had to flash away from something towards his boss. That LPC, LPC also used that flash. Okay. There's going to be a dive in coming. That is a dive in coming. And Meteor cleans him up, gets the mark as well. Didn't have any summoner spells. And this could be another kill going down. Meteor! He strikes again. 2 0 and 1 on this Kindred. Uh, I think Meteor and crew have managed to keep Ruler a little bit asleep, a little bit napping. First off... That's a big Cyclone, but Knight has to get out backwards. Kanavi now trying to lead them away. And Jin Zhao, he's just on a rampage here. The man's playing like a Chad. Hold oh. now to tap for Fearness. A little bit of a uh, duel going on, but Fearness is going to get that huge shield. Can he get one more Smackdown? And he does! Fearness! The solo on a 369. At least a, a fight going to three. Now that knight was going to go where he can't join it. That means LGD are moving forward. They have now peeled enough for LPC that they have a front to back. He's got Chakram's going. And the Rift Herald is now the focus for LGD. Going to grab Ruler here. Looking for the one-on-one. -on -one. Now Ruler's out of the fight for a while. But LGD need to follow up here. And his Ruler is gone. And that means LGD is moving forward. Jin Zhao trying to find an angle here. But so is Hai Chao. In that depth. Realm will signal the end for him and LGD with a gale force from Meteor. Ruler, you're all alone. And that's huge for LGD who continue to rampage. I'm running. It looks so good. And yeah, Nice just caught out here all by himself. That's the side lane catch out classic. And Hai Chao picks up the kill. Ruler just needs to get a little bit excited, but he has no more front line as they've overextended. And Ruler not going to get grabbed just yet. Try to pop back some rockets. The Moonlight Vigil goes a little bit wide. But in game number one, LGD with reservation, but clear cut decision making will put JDG on the back foot with LPC's performance. They take down Missing one more time. They want these kills, they want the mental dip. And LGD finish off game one against... We have a plan which can flip the game early. It can make the game non-standard and not about just standing around in 5v5s and looking for that initiation. Do not want to give those mistakes over to JDG as we're going to be loading into game number two now. As he can get him, that's the auto attack of first blood for LPC. They're going to fight more. Oh my goodness. It's tragedy struck again for JDG. Knight should clean this one up with the power oh, at the least. Bridge. Does he get cleaned up too? He's got the minions. They are blocking. Jin Zhao's trying to chase him down with a rune. He'll flash to make sure he can connect it. LPC doesn't have the damage just yet, though. That's a big combo with that charm as well. And LPC, you might have the ulti. But Ruler wants to clap back a little bit here. What auto attack from Kanavi. That'll be a double kill for the jungler of JDG. Oh, uh -oh. Meteor. Pop Blossom on a two. And that could be it. Meteor gets it on the night. Kanavi missing that initial engage spelled doom for the JDG mid laner. Charge could be huge. They don't have the minion wave, oh, sadly. Oh, teleport though. behind. They're they highlighting that. There it is. Here comes 369. Oh, right, right, that's nice. That's, that's, that's an early charm, though. The quickness is so big, and LPC's just down. That is big damage, but a double TP in response from LGD. They lose all the pressure around the map. Kanavi pulls the ult. Oh, they found the flank with Kanavi. Big glacial prison. They've already taken out Jin Zhao now. There's another TP from Fearness, but here Locking comes 369. It's the double flank, and they're on the four members with the all No! Oh, he doesn't go over the wall. LPC will flash a slam down the big old stick. Meteor gets that kill, and Knight gets caught in side lane. They should be able to push this side tier three, at least. Okay, so out of turret, likely going down, as you were saying. He is completely caught out in LGD. Now Meteor's caught out, too. He's going to have to be careful one by one. The dominoes are starting to fall. And it's just the decisiveness from JDG that makes the difference. And they also catch out Jin Zhao. Ruler has come alive in this game number two. He comes all the same at 369. Picks out LPC. Big pop blossom. But it's not going to be enough today. Scatter the week from Knight. And that's a full-on ace from JDG. And suddenly, out of nowhere, JDG spring into life, LGD. There's that decisiveness yet again, and I was questioning the karma early on, 
It gets picked out yet again. LPC finally shows up. Pop Blossom is going to go way wide as Missing actually goes down. LPC. Knight's coming around the corner, too. These are two that you never want to see when you're all by your lonesome. I'm going to get away from this one. I try to play as a ward. <laughs> Can't do it, though. All right, Chow. You get all outed. He wants oh, it. Oh, not again. Guess who he finds? It's Jin Zhao again. LPC's by himself against Ruler. Ruler takes him out of the fight. Takes him out of the game. And so, too, falls LGD one by one. That is unceremonious. I don't know what Jin Zhao's done in a past life, but his karma is looking pretty bad right now in multiple senses of the word. Zero and five taken down with extreme prejudice from Kanavi. Knight dies and then goes, huh. Medjai sounds like a good idea. A bit of a victory lap in that one. JDG really putting LGD to the sword. 369 is just gonna chase down High Chow here. Is not having a good game too either. With a slick disengage after that point, JDG might have been half asleep in game one. They are well and truly awake as they put Jin Chow to rest one <laughs> no, time. Not no, again. not like this. Oh, make it stop. So I, I'll just say, you know, Karma comes very quickly. Not just the champion because <laughs> Jin Chow on that. And this is the JDG that was promised that we've seen throughout this early split even though they do have that one loss we'll see high child with a nice fight back he's still got a decent amount of damage coming out for meteor and jdg is punished as they overextended this uh half health turret venus goes in you're just not gonna get the engage you wanted here comes meteor another domino to the party you got a backline access from high child but one by one they fall just like they were planned to jdg wipe the floor with lgd and there's only one last hope, it's LPC. And you're not getting out of this one. The Ezreal had come through for game two. And we're right back to JDG's home court advantage. Valiant attempts by Fairness to try and buck the engage by JDG, but they're the ones who are- Game between JDG and LGD. Let's hear those Jios roar. First blood, finally, at 1653. Yeah, hence we were kind of talking about, yeah, so if you want to get those outer turrets in return from LGD, you're probably going to have to group up. Knight goes with the preemptive tippers. There ain't nothing saving you today, buddy. And Knight will go 0-2 and, and be the two kills that LGD have picked up in the side lane. Meteor goes there in, go. Jinjao's trying to connect. They're getting Ruler, big blade caller. Everything goes on a Ruler and he stands the test of time for now. The rest of JDG have already picked him up. Ruler is still standing. Ruler will not go down. And Ruler outplays them all. He's not in the team fight, so maybe he wants to face the beast <laughs> as uh, Meteor will go ahead and pick that one up. And Fairness is still in the spot. Oh, 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 369! Solo Bolo, my king! How does he do that into a hull breaker? That's meant to be the side laning 1v1 item. To defend LGD's top laner. And he should actually get picked out here. One more auto. And there you go. Kill given over to Meteor. As LPC is getting chased out by Knight, doesn't go down. We got a fight on the bottom side, though. Ruler will be kiting away as the final chapter for missing comes through. A double kill rang true, and Knight with a flash gets one back for JDG. It's still a pretty good play for LGD overall, though. Fairness this time does. It's still full health because he got untouched in that. LGD are running for the hills, but the hills have eyes, and those eyes are red like the heart of JDG. <laughs> go to your home! Your home is destroyed, Nymera! You can't go home because there's nothing left when JDG come to town! LPC gets shut down! Your hopes, your dreams for LGD, your possibility of taking down the titans of JDG go straight out that window! And JDG roared alive in game two and smacked him down in game two. You can sometimes find angles where you think you just have a better angle, you can play even though your champions aren't succeeding at that point in the game. I think they were very measured about the way.